let's get started with part one of our three-part warm-up series. Part one of our warm-up is foam rolling or self-myofascial release. Self-myofascial release is basically like a self-massage. So all of our muscles, especially the ones that are used a lot, are very tight or they may have knots. So what we want to do is we want to massage those muscles to kind of get the blood flowing to warm them up as well as to kind of loosen them up. You'll notice that we'll be using a couple of tools. If you don't have a foam roller available, um, you can really buy them at any sporting goods store. All right, so we're going to start by rolling the feet. So you want to use a racquetball, tennis ball, golf ball, some type of ball that you can just roll around and make sure that it's, it's dense enough, it's hard enough that it's going to kind of dig into any knots or tightnesses that you might have in your feet. As a runner, your feet take a lot of pounding, so there's probably a lot of tightnesses going on in there. So loosening them up before running is a great idea. Next, Ryan is going to roll his shins. Then he's going to move to his calves. When rolling your calves, you want to make sure you go all the way from your Achilles, just above your ankles, and then all the way up to just below your knees. You don't want to roll over the joint. You just want to make sure you're rolling the muscle, get it nice and loose. If you feel any tightnesses, you want to focus on that spot for a little bit. He's crossing one leg over the other to make it a little, diff a little more difficult or a little bit more pressure. So obviously you make sure you switch sides when you do that one. Then you're going to move up to your hamstrings. So you want to roll from just above your knee to just below your glutes. And same thing here. If you feel any tightnesses, really focus on that area. After hamstrings, you're going to roll your glutes. So for this one, we're going to just really do <clears throat> one side at a time. So you want to lift one, knee, one foot off the floor and put that ankle on your knee and lean on the side that the foot is off the floor. So he has his right foot off the floor. He's leaning onto his right glute um, and just kind of rolling around, just trying to find any tender spots. Once he does both sides, he will turn to the side and he'll get more of the side of his leg and his IT band. Once he does both legs, he's going to turn a little bit more and just make sure he really digs into his hip flexor. Um, as a runner, our hip flexors are really tight, so he's just going to focus on kind of digging into that hip flexor and TFL and just kind of loosen that up. Once he's done with that, he can just um, move on up, and so he'll roll his quads, which is the muscle in front, in the front of your thigh, so just above the knee all the way up to the hips. And he'll finish up by rolling his back. So when you roll your back, you want to make sure that you don't roll your lower back. We want our lower back to be nice and stable. So he's going to roll all the way up to his upper back and then down to about mid back. He can kind of change up what he's doing with his arms, which will adjust his shoulder blades and adjust the way the foam roller is massaging his back. Make sure you spend 30 to 60 seconds on each area. If you feel any specific tightnesses or knots, give that area a little bit more attention.